Esmeralda, Ronald, may, may, uh, mainit ka ngayon dito. Sige. Okay, click. Uh, after Fanny, Lancelot. So crazy. There's not, it's not even a composition at all. Wala well, sa Onyx PH ngayon. There I say, ang ganda ng no headcurt. Ang ganda ng no headcurt pick mula sa Onyx. Yes. <laughs> Onyx draft, like, I mean, it's in the sweetest race, Coach Yeb. It reminds me of like a, a, a ranked game I played the other night. Kasi ang daming <laughs> open. Like, ang daming damage. Tapos, again, it's lethal if it works. It's lethal if it works, and I'm yep. hoping it does. Kasi yung NXP mo ang pinag-isipan din nila eh. Mo ang parang, ah, ito, sige, gusto niya yan, ah, Hellcurt. Sige, we'll, 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 we'll space you out. And then, ang ganda rin ang CC nila. So, mm -hmm. even laning, I'm not sure. Hindi ko alam. Uh, it's... Like, we're, we're gonna be surprised when we go to the map here. Definitely, mom mid. Oh, what if mid lane had it? Nah, it's mid lane. Pakito, he had it. Nah. Okay, so yun yung parang chow, parang chow. Parang chow. And damn it, damn it. Tinamo si Kaderza. He's not at home. He's not comfortable. It's uh, put it to half HP because of this, but it doesn't um, contest atong Cecilius. Um, eh, Esmeralda is gonna have a good time against Edith, I would say, or at least a decent time because they're mainly naman sila pareha, so Avarice will be um, used so much. Maganda yung wave clear ni Oreshi kasi naka-concussive blast siya. Ang um, curious ako dito is how is the Brody versus the Harif matchup? I would say it's maganda. Oh, eto na! Aim pala yung target ni Rami. Yep. It's all about the aggression. And delaying mm -hmm. yung isang uh, jungle creep is uh, already good but aside the Onyx Philippines. Yeah, it adds up. It adds up. I think yun ang gusto gawin ni Onyx eh. Parang make next play uncomfortable. Just like we were yep. during the draft. Keep us guessing. <laughs> so, it works yeah. very well. <laughs> and of course, greets Natalia. This is Stuff of Legends. Madami nang nagawa to. Madami nang napatunayan to. At uh, madami na siyang na napahirapan. And H2. Okay, so ikaw kontest pa rin na. Kaya ba niyang patayin si H2? Very unlikely. Pero kung may tulong na Hatred, maybe they can. Oh, actually Hatred was able to pitch his way in. Yeah, pero mukhang siyang masasandwich dito. But no, Maloyski, tatalunan ang dalawa. And Hayes to the rescue. So ito na nga ang nangyayari na parang papahirapan nila kahit sa creeps lang. Kahit sa jungle creeps yeah. lang. Tatagalan ka all this while si Flick. Kahit tinan mo. Quick rotations, fast, maximum efficiency. This is all equipped with plan. Oh, it's all about that. Uh, um, siguro ang nahanap natin dito mula sa Onyx Philippines is yung straight up wave clear. Uh, and this is a uh, sobrang laking uh, issue nito para sa Onyx Philippines. Hindi sila pwedeng maging behind in this game. Kasi wala silang yung long range wave clear. Yep, they have no, well, no marksman. They have one ranged hero. It's dangerous. There's the turtle secure. First one goes over, 2H2. Next play Evos. They won this fight and they might take one more down. Pilar, napabagsak na dito. Two for none plus the turtle. Ito na, Wolf, yung sinasabi mo, yung kinasusuklam ng Onyx na what if they're behind. Yeah, exactly. Ang ganda na ginawa ni Oreshi doon. He was the sole reason kung ba't nanalo yung Onyx, sorry, yung NXP doon sa laban na yun. Why? He was able to knock up. Sinuplex na si Flick right at that time na malapit na yung retribution. Yung uh, internal na sa red tree area na siya. So pwede siyang ilasit. That's why H2 was able to close in on that. And lahat ng efforts ng Onyx Philippines na pahirapan si H2, it's all down the drain. And now NXP Evos, they can snowball off of this. Gamitin nila itong Hellcurt constantly to pummel yung mga heroes na dependent na maging uh, free hitting. Like, uh, case in point, itong si Supermarket. Tingnan mo how stuck behind his tower already is. Kasi alam niya na Pwede siyang i-jump at any time. Every time na available yung ultimate ni H2, hindi siya pwedeng uh, basta-basta mag-ikot-ikot. Mag, mag wow! Yeah, but look this, the collapse onto Donut. Walang oras mag-respond yung Brody doon. And look at this death bush tearing up. Cadenza in H2. Kaso natin kika ni Greed. Merong exclamation point doon. We were just talking about how the Hellcurt might have a perfect game. What's the dynamic, Wolf? Lalo na may apat na melee hero sa Onyx. Hindi ba magpa-proc yung passive ni uh, Hellcurt dito na parang when you first engage him with something, merong small silence? Yeah, that's why uh, mag maganda siya talaga. Kasi parang, ang laki niyang punish eh. At the same time, yung Harith may ilang because of his movements. And ito rin nga Lancelot. If you're playing your cards right, it's gonna be good. Pero mukhang ang idea dito ng Onyx is to just kill. Mm -hmm. 
And there is one down the donut for me. Pero may take back dito. Trading out for hatred. At ang lalim, look at this! Oh! Ready, finish. Natalia, natayo pa. But like you, where are you going? Papasok. PH2. And just like that, nabaliktad muli. So back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so... Ang dami sacrifice dito ng Oracle Kids. Pero what it, what it did actually is to increase yung lapang ni Marky over the Brody. And mukhang ang uh, Onyx Philippines pag, uh, pagdating sa kung sakaling umabot ng late game, ang kanilang bread and butter will be harried na may purified. So that might be mm -hmm. that might be the idea here for Onyx Philippines. Red team has slain the turtle! Yep. And just like that, slowly, bumabalik na naman yung Onyx Philippines sa modus nila. They're making next play uncomfortable. Specifically, tama, si Donut na namatay twice in the span of a minute or so. And ang hirap nun. That's what opened up the turtle here. And now, what might be the next play? What, what might be the next move here? Uh, para sa Onyx. Kasi sila talagang binamatay natin. Ang bilis nilaw. Tinan mo to. Dilar versus H2. Mabu first down. Ang Esmeralda. Dark Knight Falls. Mabubuhay pa ba? Si Dilar, the answer is yes. No. So, uh, I think yung, uh, to, answer, to answer your question, make sure na umabot sila dun sa Lord Timing na sila yung ahead. Uh, gamitin pa rin tong uh, Natalia. Stack up on your tire hit. Malakasin mo yan so that uh, eventually kahit late game na ay malakas pa rin yung kanyang potential. Uh, also, try to not... Uh, isa pang plan na pwede gawin ng Onyx Philippines. Try to not lose your turrets early. Kasi, like I said, mahirap yung uh, wave clear para sa Onyx Philippines. Uh, yung advantage ng NXP Evils. So try not to lose and, turrets if you're Onyx. Yeah. So far, they traded that. Top for bottom. So at least, uh, ang uh, nasa bottom lane ay si Dilar. So sanay naman siya sa ganyan. And now, there you go. Starting off with the Phantom Execution Donuts to the life. Putting on some stack. Taking down slain. Greed. Hindi mo siya doon ng konti. Pero kaya pa bang. So capitalize dito. The next play, Evos. That's gonna be a push for Onyx top lane. Down goes Hatred. Two and down from the side of Onyx Philippines. Cadenza. Gonna be traded slain. out for him. Walang magawa yung Ruby Gold. Sa kitna ng dalawa. And that's gonna be 3v2. Oh. Flex still alive. Flick is still trying to take down H2. He finally gets his man. Heels left and right. A shutdown onto John Paul so long. Tapos nanaawan niya pa ng purple buff. Yeah, oh, and the great thing about this for NXP Evo is hindi naman tayo si Donut. Ang ganda nung ano ah, nung collapse. Nung ipit na ginawa ng NXP Evo doon. I'm just actually very shocked that Onyx Philippines still managed to Blue even up the trade-off. Nakakuha pa rin siya. Hindi mo yung donut na nakuha niya yung kill kay Grid. So that's minus one sa Onyx Philippines. Samatala, eh, dito sa NXP Evos, ang ganda nung uh, pag-moral nila dito. Makakuha ng double kill doon yung ating uh, headbird. It eventually will be taken out. At nabigyan ng shutdown doon si uh, uh, Lancelot na tumabot para sa kanya. Well, at least uh, nabigyan ng oh, ulit ng Ang hirap po ang pag-live replay. Kasi parating may nangyayari sa mapa. Meron nang namatay oh, sa side ng Onyx. That's next play taken down, Hatred. And just like that, I think it was off of a defense. Kasi pinilit yata ng Onyx yung bottom lane tier 2. Wow. Okay, so that's a kill on your support. So you're totally fine with this. Kaso nga lang lumalakas na itong si Heza as time goes by. Ang um, Onyx Philippines, they're ahead by 2,000. And what they need to keep on doing, uh, yun lang. Tuloy-tuloy lang nilang kumuha, pagkuha ng mga tore. Control the map afterwards. Nakakabawi na ng kahit paano si Donut. But at the same time, ito si Harith. Uh, mula kay Super Marky. Nakakatakot pa rin ito. Yep. And now, tatalo lang dito si H2. Defensive view of the Dark Knight Falls. Pero hindi bibigay. Balonski still gets the kill. And now, pinapalibutan to Si Donut at si Applebee siya. Si Haze. Medyo delikado. Jumping in. Falling Star Moon. May punish ba? Oh, there's the old, and there's the farm! Acquired memory getting one kill onto Dilar. One for one so far. Three seconds more. Ito na yata. Meron mo rubber ba? Hindi mo magagalap. Wait lang, Super Mark Salan na to. Penguin Claws taking him down! Ang nalim! Yung Mark doon! Masyado malalim. But at the same time, you can see now the effects of this Sicilian. Nakit niya yung mid lane intact. Hindi yan ma-push ng Onyx Philippines. Tinry ni Marky na sinugal na niya eh. He wants to go for the Zaman Force. But there's so many members of NXP e EVOS doon. Sobrang dami. Mas masyado ng burst down ng NXP EVOS. And Onyx Philippines ay magsistumble. Madata pa ng kaunti. Uh, Mapuha nila yung kill, however, doon kay H2. Pero hindi nila nakuha yung uh, ideal na scenario kung saan positive traits para para sa kanila. The fact na yung NXP ay nakakuha ng mga kills after this, it uh, shrinks yung deficit 
And in fact, itong uh, 1K na gold din ng Onyx Philippines, hindi na ganun karamdam at this point, 9 minutes in. Mm -hmm. They have to put more effort, they have to think about their approach more. And then yung mga tipong 2 for 1, 3 for 2, hindi na siya ganun ka-beneficial kasi nga, dapat yeah. lamang sila sa tore. Dapat lamang sila sa objectives. And oh. so far, they're doing well at that. Dahil isa pa lang naman push ng next 20 volts. Pero yung scaling, likely was has a fair share amount of it as well. This is still the sub-12 minute Lord. So okay pa to. No one still has free reign over it. Purple mo sa secure dito. Ni Haze, binibigay agad this early on. So I think alam na nga rin, nag-gets na rin na Nekro Evos na in Haze we trust. Yep. Baloyski, um, or Greed. Uh, as usual, ay bumabalik dun sa kanyang uh, uh, dating, uh, yung inatalya nga niya. And here, here's the thing, 1-2 and 2. two. <laughs> I think uh, goods na goods pa rin para Greed. He's not dying as much. Tapos yung target niya, syempre, unti-unti nang lumalakas yan. Para naman dun sa ibang mga members, it's... Uh, oh! Okay, so... Ha wait, so ahala ko talaga ng Dark Knight Falls. Tumilim ko sa yun pala yung uh, pag-invisible lang yun ni Greed. <laughs> yes. That's why I was Naka very shocked tayo, about that. Naka-focus lang tayo kay Maloy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, You're so, saying? Um, parang ngayon sa Onyx Philippines, ang um, maganda is uh, try to secure this uh, Lord. Or at least huwag nila ibigay. Siguro pwede sila maghintayin ng 12 minutes or get a kill! Ayan ba? Oh, nice catch here! Hindi na nakapag Dark Knight Falls! CH2 doon! And this is a great opening for Onyx Philippines. Pero yun nga lang eh, that's the trick. Or they have to find where they can capitalize. Anong next objective ang pwede nila i-convert? Siguro yung, ano, yung 12 minute Lord, if they so want it, or eh, take advantage na nila na wala dito si H2, kaya, or wala pa dila eh, whatsoever. Pero para respawn na si H2, ha, so they have to be careful about this. Dilarski doing his, uh, Dilarski thing is the pang go now. And Onyx Philippines will take that. At, <laughs> unti-unti na nakapag-farm to si Hatred, ha? Na, na may brute force breastplate na siya, meron na siyang war axe, nakakaw pa siya ng orange buff. I wonder kung ano yung, mga, yung uh, decision dito para sa Onyx Philippines. Itatransform ba nila si Hatred bilang isang damage dealer na rin um, top the mid-game? Parang, parang naman siyang hindi mid na, parang XP lane na ba ang treatment sa kanya? Eventually, there will be enough money that goes around. Especially kung, yun nga, maganda yung conversion rate nila and they're putting Nightly Evos in a weird spot. Panoro natin si Flick dito. Helping good. Again, ito ang baluar ni Hayes. Bahay to ni Hayes. H2 still goes down one more time off camera kill. Si Baloy pa rin na makakuha noon. And well managed. Wolf kahit na wala silang pampush, kahit wala silang siege uh, heroes. Nagagawa pa rin na kapanik yung stream ang gawin. Which is push up and uh, bottom lane ng sabay. Talking about the health card, ito yung enabler ng NXP boss para makapag-clash sila dahil sa Dark Knight Falls. At since yung Onyx Philippines are finding ways na mahanap dito si H2 at instant kill sa kanya, sobrang lupit na eh. If you're looking at their composition, yung pakito kasi, sabi natin uh, bumalik sa mage dito si uh, Hatred. Hindi siya makakalakad sa mapa as freely as a pakito na libre yung mga dash. Hindi niya kailangan mag-spend ng mana or whatsoever. Meron pang reset. Kaya naman, whenever, wherever Paloyski is, nakakasunod agad siya. Back to back. Nila, na nilang na kill na 2v1 si H2 nang ginulat talaga nila si H2 at siguro ito talaga yung idea ng Onyx Philippines I don't know kung ito intended ng Onyx Philippines but so far ito yung nagwa-work sa game na to I'm gonna have to give it to Onyx Philippines sobrang gulo ng kanilang composition but if it works it works yep napagano nila in the simplest terms you turn the hunter into the hunted paano kung yung oh. Yung Hellkirk, ang takot sa Adiliman, di ba? Paano ko yung Hellkirk yung parang natatakot sa mga monsters sa inalim ng kama niya? <laughs> that's exactly what's happening, and that's what explains yeah. the 343 on H2. He's really trying. He's doing his best to find his engages and use Dark Knight Falls in a, in a offensive manner. Pero, hindi eh. On the back foot parati dito, si uh, H2. So now, kanina, 1k gold lead next to Evos. Ngayon, naging 4k, 5k gold lead for Onik. Wow, this is uh, turning out to be good. At dumating na tayo sa point na yung purple buffs ay ibibigay na kay Super Marquis, 9.1k. Nag-oracle na rin siya just to, for good measure so that hindi, hindi sila ma-instant burst din. At ngayon, palapit na sa Blade of Despair, etong si Greed na masakit na rin talaga yung damage shot on the other. And even Hatred, mag- <laughs> Farm na rin, ito si Hatred. Oh, oh look at this, there's a jump and a possible counter-attack by next play Evos. 
Oh, there's the flip. The suplex by Ureshi. Confirming the kill on to Dilar. That's one for none so far. Pero yun ang daming ult na ginamit ng next play Evos. Si Ureshi lang yata hindi yep. nag-ult. A lot of flickers as well, mga battle spells. So maganda dito na ginawa ng next play Evos. Sabi nila, back to back, si H2 na pitas around the buffs. Yung most recent na pick off kay H2 na sa orange buff or around that area. So yung Onyx Philippines, they try to go for that play again para kasi binibilangan nila kung nasa kung kailan la mag-spawn yung orange buff at na-punish nila accordingly. Uh, Tinry nilang i-punish accordingly. I'm not entirely mm -hmm. sure kung sino nakuha ng uh, orange buff noong time na yun. Uh, it's H2. Ayan, so nasecure ni H2. So that's well and good. Tapos nag-survive siya. At tinauhan na rin siya ni Cadenza. Tinawag nila, okay, sige, ito orange buff timing na naman. Cadenza, kailangan kita dito. And with just the presence nung ni Cadenza, nabuhay si H2 long enough na makapag-pop siya ng ultimate, makatakas mula sa Onyx Philippines at makakuha sila ng punish. Nice play from Oreshi. Going for the flicker and the suplex. At biglang tumahimik ang mundo ng Onyx Philippines. Yung sobrang forward nila, medyo hihinga ng konti. Yep. Essentially, ang nangyari kanina, based on what I can observe is, parang the criminal always goes back to the scene of the crime. Parang paulit-ulit kasi na nandun nangyayari. So, Onyx Philippines, they have to find a new trick. They have to find out where they can trap H2 again or maybe get a free kill on Donut. And so far, hindi na ulit namatay si Donut after nung uh, kalbari niya sa top lane yeah. during the early game. So it's it's better spacing, better placement uh, of their marksman for next play Evos. Now, this point then, uh, by the way, 16 minutes na and uh, tahimik na nakapag farm si uh, Hayes, 1-0-8 dito sa ating uh, um, Sicilian. Binigay na rin sa kanya yung purple buff. So what, ang sinasabi sa atin dito ng uh, NXP is uh, kailangan nyo mag-ingat Onyx. Hindi pa rin nabubura yung melee-based composition nyo na mayroong punish yung Ruby as well as the Sicilian. Hindi pwedeng mm -hmm. maging kampante ang Onyx Philippines because x play Evos, kaya pa nilang kumuha ng malupit na depensa. They have Sicilian, they have Ruby, pwede sila mang punish easily. Oh Lord, here are a fifth of its health. Ang bilis kumuha din dito ng x play Evos. That's going to be the burst down on the grid, H2. Gonna get standards here, by 2 Hindi naman si Oreshi, si Cadenza. Conceal play. Hindi kumakuha nila dito. Follow the burst down after a suflex. Dito sa Lancelot, that's two down for the side of Onyx. May Lord din ah, mind you, to help with the push. Pero, kompleto ang membro ng next play Evos. And they have their own way of pushing. Then direct you to the mid. Let's see if they defend the top. They are from backlines. Oh, but wait! Na sandwich play pa rin sila! Respect the bush play from Onyx PH! But there you go, Sanguine Claws keeping the Lara down. And there's another suplex! And a cost up! Kureshi doing so much work on this edit! At hindi mabubuhay dito si Hatred. Two defenders left for Onyx PH. At derecho ang pag-push. They'll take this mid lane tier 2. Oh, wait lang. May minion waves. They're okay. They wanna steal. Oh, we the Orange buff. Kaya ba? Turn up our memory. Keeping Donut alive and Paloy down. Wonderful win of Nature Play from Donut. Nadala talaga to. Natuto talaga kung paano niya uh, ika-counter yung uh, Natalia and Onyx Philippines. Sobrang nanggigil sila sa depensa na yun. Wala silang damage out. But surely, nandoon si Marky. At ang gusto na yata play doon is mag-purify after the suplex para, may, para sayawan. At sila pa yung nawalan ng Torre dito. Only two members to defend. They, do ha they don't have minions anymore. Pero, oh si Marky. no! It's always just two members, now three. Maaay nga ng konti dito ang Onyx Philippines. Pero kamunti ka na yun. Red ang base nila, nag-ingalo. Half health. May hinakatid na wave dito sa baba, si H2. And just like that, how the tides have turned. Oh, Nabaliktad. Wow. Next play naman ngayon ang nagtatreten ng match point. Yun talaga yun eh. Yung, yung burst eh. Oh, oh wait! Wait, wait lang! You burst! You are mentioning the burst! And Donut focusing fire on the base! But it may have been a little too much. Two defenders left for both sides. Blue team base turret has been Nag punish ang Onyx PH. One fourth ang health ng base nila. And right now, mukhang maganda ang position ng Onyx Philippines. Haze is in trouble. Haze going down. Kadenza na lang ang natitira. Namumula ang mapa. 20 seconds though. I think hindi yata kaya ng Onyx Philippines i-push to. Lalo na lang yung mga minions na rin. I'm not entirely sure if this is good. Maybe Onyx Philippines, hindi na talaga na kaya din. They know, they know it. Magbabak na lang din sila. 
it looked really close. I would say NXT, they had it in there. Ang ganda ng talon doon ni H2. Ang ganda ng idea. Kaso nga lang handa doon yung Onyx Philippines at na-punish doon si H2 under the base. Ang ganda ng idea ng NXP boss na uh, talagang sumugod na lang sa Onyx Philippines. They will not be able to defend because of that. Pero ngayon, buhay na ang lahat ng mga, mga players natin on both teams. Lamang ang mm -hmm. ng NXP. Evos lamang naman ang top lane ng Onyx Philippines. Susubukan nila dito mag-lord. Is this a good play though? Ang tayong NXP at may patilim si H2. Oh, phantom execution. There's a suplex. And then a turn around. Baloy, unang mamamatay. Patay na rin si Hatred. They did not receive the damage. Hanks had. And here's the melee punish. Ureshi boy pa. Daman force dito ni Marty. At talang talang siya. Pero kulang pa rin ang sagot niya. He was kited throughout the walls here. Dito sa may purple buff ng next to Evos. And just like that, si Flick na lang ang natitira. Uh, I don't think kaya niya to. Merong, merong Cecilio na pwede siyang uh, i-hapin ng kakad din. Kaya, kaya din ma- Oh! Oh, nice wind of nature! Wind of nature, Bay! Sabi na pang donut to the back! Woo! Next play, he was a whole nother beast. Ibang has their wolf. They are at match point threatening the series win against Onik. 2-1! Oh, the mistakes were made for sure. Nang gigil ng sobra. I think yung uh, fact na nakapag-defend yung side ng Onyx Philippines, they should have stopped there. Um, tingin ko yung Lord Fight ay hindi talaga may papanalo ng Onyx Philippines. Nasa disadvantage nila. Ikaw mismo nakita ng melee punish. Apart from that, meron pang walls na tumulong doon sa side ng, uh, ng NXP na hindi nakasayo doon si Marky. A lot of disconnect between the, the teammates of... Uh, of Flick as well as Dilar. Parang nung tumalon sila Hate at sila Dilar, pati sila Baloy, hindi ready din si Supermarket doon. So they didn't have the damage against NXP. Evo, 